We finally have concept art for the game in development called Kitten Space Agency, which is intended to be a spiritual successor to the game Kerbal Space Program, which probably started production when the developers of KSP2 were fired. Now, it actually turns out that former Annapurna Interactive staff bought the rights to KSP2, so we will see what will happen to KSP2. But these last few months have given hope to the Kerbal community, as it is clear, at least to me, that the developers of Kitten Space Agency are not making the same mistakes as the devs of KSP2. They are building a strong foundation, making sure that the game runs well before adding anything on top of it. They are also enlisting some of the core KSP modders like Blackrack and Nertea, who are behind the volumetric cloud and the near slash far future tech mods respectively. The devs have released these videos of Blackrack's work and you'll see that they already have implemented a transition between the 3D clouds when close up and 2D clouds when at a greater distance, which you can see right here. And I have to say, it looks pretty good already. One of the Rocketworks engineers also finished a deferred rendering showcase, which you can see right here, which is a way to render light more efficiently. This is also something that Blackrack has added to one of the latest versions of the Volumetric Clouds mod, if I'm correct. So the devs are making great leaps and it seems that development is much faster, much more efficient and robust than KSP2 ever was. At least that is what it looks like to me. Now the name Kitten Space Agency of course implies that the kittens would be the main characters of the game. But not everyone has been on board so far. So this is what Dean Hall, the CEO of Rocketworks, said about choosing kittens as their main characters. So it is obviously still very much in the air what the creatures are the game sports. But a reasonable effort is being spent to consider, if we went with kittens, how they would look. They are easy for us to make and we can proportion them to minimize asset development work. They are also cute which helps emphasize a goal of pros before crew type approach where we don't want you losing the kittens. Dean also said, mainly referring to this image right here, that the kittens will be a little bit less pear shaped, though I personally don't mind as much. By the way, I love the giant zipper over here, it looks hilarious. Additionally, here are some other images that they released and it shows them in a steam environment to show what it will look like. And I have to say, their designs have me sold on the idea of kittens. I'm really looking forward to what they will bring. These images make me really excited for what is to come. Now, as stated in previous videos of mine, early access of the game will be free and it will hopefully come out in early 2025, whatever that will entail. Anyways, if you want to know some of the other developments over these past few months, please check out my other videos surrounding Kitten Space Agency, and also subscribe if you want to get the latest KSA news from me. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.